Hello mates and welcome to Full Throttle and my review on to the Full Throttle season update. So feel the speed as you go Full Throttle this season and join the Syndicate and experience a world tour of daring haste and escapes. Take advantage of the season pass to earn rewards faster and unlock the legend pass exclusive Apollo IE. We're getting new cars and yeah go Full Throttle this festive season and collect 6 stylish new cars on which to hit the road. Actually it is 7 so yeah. Anyway let's have a look onto the image over here you can see the Bugatti La Voiture Noir, the GT by Citroën, the BMW i8 Roadster as well as the Apollo Intense Emotion. And yeah we also get a new location and yeah new track Nevada, race through the deserts of Nevada, through tunnels and across bridges and a dam on a brand new track. Actually this brand new location comes with 7 different tracks, one 30 second track, bridge to bridge, 4 90 second tracks, dam buster, desert drift, desert life and desert run and 2 120 second tracks, sprint finish and the narrows. Yeah, actually if you haven't played uh, these tracks already you will have more than enough chances to play them during the special events of the season. And last but not least we get a hint over here, December 18 it is saying. Actually it should be December 17 I guess because it shows up the DS3 logo over here from the actual drive syndicate that just started today on December 17. So we get 7 new cars, first of all over here you can see the Bugatti La Voiture Noir. And let's have a look onto the stats of this class S car with 6 stars. And it's the first car to hit 5000 rank. And yeah, let's have a look. I compared it to the Bugatti Chiron over here. And you can see the top speed on both of the cars is exactly the same. And acceleration, nitro efficiency are almost the same. The LVN is just slightly better. The only big difference is the better handling on this car and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, if you have already the Bugatti Chiron maxed out or even golden, then yeah, you don't need to be too sad if you don't manage to unlock the Bugatti LVN during this drive syndicate. Um, actually, yeah, this car will be available during this drive syndicate free. And the support cars are the BMW i8 Roadster, the Arinera Husaya, the Apex AP0, the Porsche GT3 RS and the GT by Citroën. Actually my own Porsche GT3 RS is only at 2 stars so I'm not sure if I will be able to unlock myself this car and yeah to unlock the car yeah I don't know. Let's have a look onto the next car <laughs> and it's the Bugatti Devo. So. Yeah, over here you can see it's another 6 star class S car, the Bugatti Devo and I compared it to the Rimat C2 over here as both of the cars come with a very good acceleration but some lower top speed but over here you can see even compared to the Rimat C2 the top speed is yeah more than 20 km per hour lower so yeah or if we are talking about um, nitro top speed then it's even 33 kilometers per hour lower but yeah um, you can see handling and nitro efficiency are better but overall I'm not sure if the Bugatti Devo will be able to keep up with the C2. The Devo will be available in some Legend Pass exclusive special event because you will need to have Apollo IE on stage number one to get started into this event and yeah other support cars are the Carrera GT or GT and the uh, Jaguar CX75, the Königsegg Regera, the Bugatti Chiron, the Peugeot Onyx, the Wanda Electrics, the Androbium as well as the Gentia Air Cologne. And yeah, actually let's have a look on to the next car. It's the Peugeot Onyx. Over here you can see it also comes with some active rear wing. And yeah, let's have a look on to the stats of this car. And it's some class 6, uh, some class A, 6 stars car. And I compared it over here with the Pagani Hoaira. You can see the gold rank is 4145, so it's lower than the Pagani Hoaira. But 
yeah, you can see all the other stats <laughs> except of nitro efficiency are better. And yeah, especially the handling stat is so much better. <laughs> so I don't know. I think the Peugeot Onyx will definitely be able to keep up with the Pagani Huayra in this uh, term, um, in terms of performance. And yeah, nitro efficiency a little bit lower, but with some good nitro management, you maybe are able to compensate it. The car itself, it will be available during some Unleash event with support cars of three star Porsche 918 Spider, a three star VLF Force One, the three stars McLaren 570S Spider, and the three stars Wanda Electrics Dendrobium. So definitely make sure to get yourself the Wanda Electrics Dendrobium two three stars if possible. Next up we got a Citroen GT by Citroen. And yeah, this is just another six star class A car. And yeah, over here I compared it to the McLaren 570S. Um, the gold rank is 4,221, so it's a little bit better than the 570S Spider in this term. And especially the top speed. It is the fastest car on class A, beating the top speed of the Valhalla as well as the 570S. But the big downside over here is the very low acceleration stat. You can see it is far under the 80 and yeah i i don't know how good this car will perform especially in multiplayer and stuff like this and yeah it will be available during drive syndicate 3 and you will get 30 blueprints from the rewards and you will need to buy the other blueprints to unlock the car or to max it out from the syndicate market so pretty expensive <laughs> so yeah i don't know if i will be able to unlock the car at least at one star but yeah over here we got the uh, apollo ie legend pass exclusive car and let's have a look onto its stats so it's a class b five star car same as the lamborghini huracan evo spider and if you have a look on both of the cars um yeah, you notice this car has a better top speed and acceleration as the Huracan Evo Spider. And yeah, only handling and nitro efficiency are lower. But overall, I think this car should be able to keep up with the Huracan Evo Spider. And if you have the Legend Pass yourself, you will be able to get this car at 3 stars. And if you have some tokens left, you will maybe consider yourself to get this car yeah up to five stars and try to max it out especially as you get some of the epic import parts already from the legend pass maybe one or another during the season so yeah <laughs> um next up we can also have a look on to the grand prix car this is the lamborghini huracan evo no, Huracan Super Trofeo Evo. And yeah, also a pretty cool car. And yeah, let's have a look onto the stats over here. So I decided to compare to the Mazda Furai. The Mazda Furai is also one of the kings on Class D next to the TVR Griffith. And yeah, over here you can see the Huracan Super Trofeo manages to beat the Master Furay in almost all the stats except of top speed. Top speed is slightly lower, but all the other stats are better than the Master Furay. So I think the Huracan Super Trofeo should be able to uh yeah run out the Master Furay on most of the tracks. <laughs> um the car is available in a Grand Prix event and yeah you can see all the stages um, listed down below so yeah definitely make sure to get yourself a key for this car and maybe you are considering to max out the car yourself during the grand prix event yeah and then maybe we are taking a look onto the last car of this update and yeah this is the bmw i8 roadster and yeah over here i already colored in in white and blue and already opened the rooftop of this roadster so yeah let's have a look onto the stats of this car 
Um, you can see the gold max rank is pretty low with only 2200. Um, yeah, mostly because top speed and acceleration are a little bit lower than Porsche Taycan Turbo S. But yeah, I decided to compare these cars next to each other because both of the cars come with some blue nitro benefit or blue nitro boost. And yeah, the top speed difference is not that big, right? It's only five kilometers per hour on blue nitro boost. So not that much actually. And also acceleration stat, yeah, it is, uh, it is still pretty close to 80 acceleration, right? And on the other side, the handling and especially the nitro efficiency are better than the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. And yeah, it's pretty cool to have a good nitro efficiency on a blue nitro boost car. So yeah, I think the performance will be pretty nice, but it's definitely not a king on class D. So next up, you can see already over here, the new drive syndicate, one of the special events that just started today. And yeah, I already had a look into it. And the first chapter is Desert Disaster. This chapter, once you have finished it, will help you to unlock the BMW i8 Roadster. So definitely make sure to unlock yourself the BMW i8 Roadster. Please don't miss out on this. And yeah, you can see it goes on with Lightspeed Chase chapter and all the other chapters. Just as I told you before, my Porsche GT3 RS, it will not um be able to help me out on this event <laughs> but yeah there is actually also other events coming up so we get some elite grand prix on the remote c2 followed up by some königs agiesco elite grand prix in early january the unleash event on the peugeot onyx should also be starting early january followed up by the bugatti devo special event and the huracan super trofeo evo starting in mid-January, as well as many different car hunts and limited time events. So yeah, there is more than enough to do. And yeah, you need to decide where to spend on your tokens because it's definitely not possible to max out all the cars without spending tons of real money. <laughs> and yeah, so you definitely need to decide where you want to go for. Over here you can see what's new tab. This tab is also new added next to the player profile. Over here you can see the patch notes of uh, this update. And yeah, you can see season changes and new features. New feature is this inbox I'm just showing to you. And season changes, legend pass holders will get access to exclusive car hunts. And new career season full throttle, check out chapter two, my career mode to locate it in the game. And yeah, also changes were made to weekly and elite limited time events. So over here you can see the legendary hunt on the Porsche Taycan Tour West that just started today. And also let's have a look on to Elite Class S that just started today. Over here you can now see Zolo rewards. And yeah, actually there is a lot of token rewards inside. So yeah, six uh, new track options have been added to club races. New club country flags got added for Belgium, Malaysia, Morocco and Vietnam. New and clear visual display for token and credit rewards. And yeah, let's also have a look what else is new. So if we head over to quick race menu over here. Um, yeah, you will notice there is a uh, new challenges available. I don't know if they have been there before. And yeah, the new locations are the city that never sleeps, quantum jumps, urban exodus and sightseeing. So maybe you want to finish these quick race events yourself too. Next up, let's head over to the legend path. Welcome to full throttle season. Take your Asphalt 9 experience to the next level by playing in this exclusive season while it lasts. Live now for 55 more days. And yeah, as usual it comes with different uh, season mission chapters, 7 in total. And yeah, claim amazing rewards and buy the Legend Pass to get more exclusive rewards and lots of benefits throughout the game. And yeah, over here you can see invest in the game uh, in the Legend Pass and yeah, get yourself the 3-star exclusive car 
four extra gas capacity in all cars, daily free ticket refills, free entry into the one vs one tournament mode, plus two classic packs per day, plus seventy percent of reputation point boost, seventy percent of trade coin boost, a legend point boost by ten percent, exclusive epic import parts for the Apollo IE. Hundreds of tokens and the exclusive decal for the Apollo IE, as well as exclusive body parts and a uh, yeah, discount on the next season bundle. So go further, be a legend, and yeah, let's view the legend pass over here. So here we are. You can see, as usual, there is a free pass for the free to play players, as well as some legend pass. And yeah, let's have a look onto the rewards over here on the free pass. You can see different rewards. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah, over here you can see the Vencesate is uh, featured in the free pass. So yeah, for new players this might be cool because the Vencesate is needed to finish the career mission. And yeah, I think you should be able to unlock yourself the Vencesate by only finishing the free pass. And yeah, then also let's have a look onto the legend pass. So let's go all the way back. <laughs> and yeah, over here on stage one, you can already see yourself the Apollo IE decal. And yeah. Some emoticons, some credits, some body parts, and yeah, all the benefits like extra gas capacity and so on. Also, there is the blueprints for the Apollo IE, of course. And yeah, also the epic imports parts are here for the Apollo IE, so free in total from what I have seen over here. And yeah, next up, um, we're gonna get ourselves this legend pass. Actually, you can see there is some glitch. It shows the Ferrari logo onto it. Um, yeah, that is only because um, it changed over here. You can see the bundle pass, but actually, I'm not recommending to go for the bundle pass. I think the legend pass should be fine enough. So yeah, let's go for it. So, product purchased successfully. <laughs> you have bought the Legend Pass with some nice Ferrari logo on it, but yeah, should be the full throttle logo. So, most likely on the Ferrari season, we maybe get the full throttle logo on it, who knows? So, yeah, tap here to claim. We can already get ourselves the Apollo IE decal. And yeah, then I would say let's go all the way back and let's have another look onto the shop because in the shop there is also some offers new. So yeah, we got ourselves the pass. There is a uh, packs available for the Alfieri, for the Master Furai and some holiday pack. And yeah, you can also get yourself the Wanda Electrics Dendrobium from the Legend Store for credits. So yeah, definitely try to get them when they are available for you. And there should also be Wanda Electrics Dendrobium EIPs showing up for you for 10,000 trade coins. So if you want to gold the car, you should also go for these epic import parts. And yeah, over here you can see exclusive holiday packs. And yeah, over here, this pack is very interesting. Purchase limit is one and it costs you 199. Um, let's also have a look onto the other packs, but the other packs are not very important. It's only this one here. And yeah, I think to finish off this video, we will have a look into this pack. So you can see there is 1,600 tokens, 350,000 credits and 15 packs that can actually contain also good blueprints for me, but usually they don't. So let's go for it and let's have a look into it. Oh, we just unlocked tier two on the legend pass. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's let's claim it later on. Let's have a look onto the packs first off. If there is anything good inside, I I don't expect it, but yeah, let's have a look. So yeah, maybe maybe for you one or another blueprint could be useful. I don't know, but at least for me, it's only trade coins, as you see. 
Luckily, I got myself the legend path before, so I have at least a little benefit. Yeah, the, the only thing you get this pack for is the 1600 tokens. So, yeah, 199 for 1600 tokens. But yeah, I didn't expect it anything else, to be honest. <laughs> so let's also claim the reward over here from the legend path. Just some more tokens and credits. And yeah, actually for this review, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a great time. Enjoy the events. And yeah, see you and goodbye. <laughs>